Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to save ID3 tags so that you can recall them and use them as a template for every podcast you produce. So if you're aware of Adobe Audition, you may already know that you can go into Window, you can look for Metadata, or just hit Command P or Control P on the PC, and then you can find ID3 to add your ID3 tags. But the thing was, every time you save a podcast file, you had to refill out all of this, and it's a bit of a pain. Wouldn't it be great if you could template that? Well, thanks to Nico on the audio team at Adobe. Thank you, Nico, for this wonderful thing, giving you a great shout out for solving my and a lot of other podcasters' pains. You can actually do this. It's possible. Let me show you how. I'm going to open my pro podcast presets. They're available at mrc.fm slash presets. And the best thing is, Nico made me aware of this, you can actually open up the metadata window inside a multi-track session so that you can then alter your ID3 tags here and save them as part of a multi-track session. So if you use the same template to produce a podcast every single time, you can save out the ID3 tags you need and recall them as a template. And then maybe you just need to change the guest name and that's it. A lot faster than retyping everything out. So for instance, I might give it a title, Adobe Audition Podcast, and then go through very quickly, type the artist as myself, uh, and then maybe just copy Adobe Audition Podcast uh, for sake of uh, speed here to every other thing here. Track number, well, let's make that track number one, lyrics, composer, uh, remix by copyright, URL, let's put in mrc.fm. Okay, so that's all saved. The only thing we can't write out uh, with the multitrack session, because it's probably too large, is the album art. So every time you do save or export, you have to add in your album art. But it speeds up typing this all out, especially if all these fields are different. Uh, so now all I need to do is simply go in and file save this template, okay? And then I can exit. I can also go into file export and then session as template Again, as I've demonstrated previously, and this will then appear when you start a new multi-track session as one of your templates in the drop down here. But anyway, this has now been saved. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to close down the metadata window, and then I'm going to reopen that multi-track session, go in here, and then we'll go into the window. We'll look back for our metadata window, and you'll see, yes, the ID3 information is all saved with the session. So now every time I start a new session with this template, all of my ID3 tags are intact. And I might just want to change one thing, like uh, I might want to put the guest name here, during Cleaves, for instance, and I might want to change the track number, say this is episode number three. It's really, really easy. And that is how you save your ID3 tags as a template with your multi-track session inside Adobe Audition, saving you a lot of time. <laughs>